in the dense, misdrouded rivers of eastern Australia, a creature lurks that defies every rule of biology. Picture this. A beaver's tail, a duck's bill, otter's feet, and venomous spurzel stitched together in a fuzzy, chocolate-brown coat. When the first platypus specimen reached British scientists in 1798, they recoiled in disbelief. Surely this was a prank. It is impossible to form a conjecture as to its natural habits, muttered naturalist George Shaw. Scissors trembling as he sliced open the dried pelt, expecting to find stitches. There were none. The platypus was no chimera. It was real. For millennia, indigenous Australians had known the platypus as Dara, a riverine hunter. But to European science it was a paradox. How could an animal lay eggs like a reptile, nurse its young like a mammal, can hunt with a bill bristling with electroreceptors' organs, so advanced they wouldn't be understood for another two centuries? The debate raged. Was it a missing link, a divine mistake, or proof that nature's imagination eclipsed humanity's? Shaw eventually conceded it was genuine, but not before coining its scientific name, Ornithorhynchus anodinus, a nod to its bird-like snout. Yet the platypus kept springing surprises. In 1802, explorers discovered males wield hollow spurs on their hind legs, dripping venom potent enough to incapacitate a dog. Later, scientists marveled as females laid leathery eggs, then nourished hatchlings with milk secreted through pores, not nipples. This mosaic of traits forced a reckoning. A platypus became a cornerstone of evolutionary theory, proving life's fluidity long before DNA revealed its ancient lineage diverging from reptiles, 166 million years ago. Today, its genome holds secrets to mammalian origins. While its survival hinges on fragile ecosystems threatened by climate change, the platypus reminds us, nature doesn't fit neatly into boxes thrives in the cracks between categories, a living relic and rebel that challenges us to rethink what's possible. In its shadow, the real question isn't what is this creature, but what else have we failed to imagine?